afternoon, everybody. Last week I was sick, so Paige graciously filled in for me, but I'm still getting over a little bit of a cough, so sorry if my voice sounds weird. Today I'm gonna to be talking about racism in Disney. Super fun topic, and definitely not the last time I will make a video like this. There's a screenshot of a Tumblr post going around, and to sum up, somebody posted a photo set of the Disney princesses representing the Four Seasons. Now all the princesses that are shown in the photo set are white, and a second user responded rather snarkily and pointed this out by saying, are you sure they don't all represent winter? Everything looks pretty white to me. And then a third person comes in, and this comeback is what makes the post so popular. It's kind of long, and if you really want to read all of it, here you go. But the crux of their argument is that the stories or settings these princesses come from are white countries. That most people in Germany are white, that Danish people are white, and that everybody in Scotland is always white. But there are a lot of things wrong with this argument. And I'm talking about modern films, like the ones made in the 21st century, where people of color are neither historically inaccurate or difficult to find? Europe isn't this big white mass. People of color exist in Europe and they always have. People of color, like, they weren't invented in the 1970s. Their history just isn't represented as much as it should be because we live in a racist world. For anyone who's interested, there's a really great Tumblr called Medieval POC that talks about the presence of people of color in medieval art as well as history. The idea that Disney can't use people of color in their films that originate from European fairy tales not only erases the presence of people of color in Europe, but it's insulting to the Disney company. Disney is a tremendously innovative company. They have produced incredible technology for the sake of art. They have revolutionized the world of filmmaking and animation. Heck, animation is considered a recognizable art form because of Disney. It's just such crap. Disney is far too creative of a company to hide behind historical accuracy or faithfulness to source material as a reason for ignoring people of color over and over again. It's not like the princess movies stay the same. Disney isn't bound to the original fairy tales. They improvise and embellish and add and subtract in every single princess movie. And why would historical accuracy be a concern in movies where people can turn into bears and snowmen can do great Broadway musical numbers. Fantasy and sci-fi are such wonderful genres because you can build a world. The artist is free of any obligations to historical accuracy. With only two exceptions, Disney has never set their princess movies in defined or real locations. They are always elements of different cultures mashed together into one fantasy realm. Yes, Rapunzel is a German fairy tale, but Tangled is not set in Germany. Tangled is set in the fictional land of Corona, a land that feels distinctly modern, except for its clothing, presence of magic, and lack of people of color. And I understand the other side of the argument. The idea that certain people belong in certain places and storytelling is valid. Well, yes, there certainly are white people that have either visited or lived in Hawaii. It would have seemed ridiculous to focus on Myrtle instead of Lilo's family and Lilo and Stitch. But this line of thought is all too often used as an excuse to focus exclusively on white characters and ignore people of color. I love Disney. Their movies and their parks have helped me through bad times and they continue to make me very, very happy. But Disney isn't immune to criticism just because I love them. I fear that Disney is becoming lazy. The idea of including people of color in their films should not be a difficult or daunting task for a company that has accomplished so much. I can only hope that we see more representation in the future. And in the meantime, we keep pushing for it. Otherwise, we can't hope to change anything. Thanks for watching. The princess and I will see you next week.